Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Isle of Burke. In today's episode, I have a lot to do. The main thing is going to be helping out Snoutlow and also taming a brand new dragon. But first things first, as you guys know, in the last episode, we got ourselves a brand new deadly natter, and you guys have been commenting lots of names. I think there were over like 500 different name suggestions, so thank you guys so much for all of the support. But obviously, there can only be one name for this beautiful rainbow rhino beast. So let's go ahead and grab two name tags, because in the last episode, I also forgot to name our Stormcutter dragon. Dragon. The Stormcutter Dragon is going to be named Odin, and our Deadly Natter is going to be named Malachite. For those of you guys that don't know, definitely look up Malachite. It is this beautiful gemstone that kind of matches the colors of our Deadly Natter. I now dub you Malachite, the beautiful rhino rainbow dragon. And then if we go over here, we have <laughs> the giant bat-faced Odin, the Stormcutter Dragon. I'm pretty sure there's still four other dragons that I have yet to see or tame. Malachite, stop scratching yourself. We got things to do, places to be, and people to help. So if we fly out of this hole, and then if we go over into the right direction, that's where Snoutlout should be. I was talking with Hiccup, and he said that Snoutlout needs my help, but he wouldn't tell me exactly what it was. Oh, we also have Volca here too, I didn't even realize. I am Volca, friend of dragons. I am a little busy, taking care of the dragon babies. But could you go and grab some dragon nip for me? I hear that it grows on dragon's edge. It would be a huge help. New mission, Dragon Nip Napper. All right, well, I guess Snout Loud's gonna have to wait. Yo, look at this dragon. What's up, Cloud Jumper? That's a great name. We should have named it that. I do like the Odin name. It looks as a uh, Cloud Jumper peers deeply into your soul, holding your gaze until you are forced to look away. All right, stop staring at me, bro. You're creeping me out. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, the name suggestions came from William G and Adam M. In today's episode, I'm definitely going to be getting another dragon, so I'm going to need your guys' name suggestions. Be sure to stick around for that, ladies and gentlemen. You're not going to want to miss it. And I need the name suggestion, so you should definitely comment them down below once we see the dragon that we get. But it looks like we are on the lookout for Dragon's Edge. Now, I haven't really explored the map too much. We've discovered the giant ice lands in the top right of the map, but I haven't found Dragon's Edge. If I had to guess, it would probably be over there. While we're flying over there, it's probably a good opportunity to let you guys know if you haven't already. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button with your chin. It's a lot more difficult than you think, ladies and gentlemen. If you're able to do it, you are 100% my brand new best friend. I will also talk to Rodney and Bessie about sending you 10,000 cookies. Wait, region found. Dragon Island? Dude, this place is destroyed. The entire thing is just made up of different, like, stone hedges, stone pillars, and a giant stone pillar in the center. Well, but it's not Dragon's Edge, so I don't really want to explore it too much, especially because I feel like there's going to be some weird dragons trying to fight me. Let's go head over here. This looks like the Dragon's Edge. I don't know exactly what makes it look like that, but if I had to put money on it, it's probably going to be Dragon's Edge. Nope, never mind. This is Vanaheim. It actually looks like there might be some people living here. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but there's like already fire here. And it seems like there's some little base up there. It has a monstrous nightmare head, but I don't really see anybody. We do have a brand new dragon, but it's not Dragon's Edge, which I need to find today. Over in this corner of the map, there's a tiny little island. Let's go check it out. It actually looks pretty cool. We found the Rookery. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Wait a second. Is this a Gronkle? No, I don't think it's a Gronkle. It's, it's like a like a steeple butt or something. I forget the name of it, honestly. But I think that's the dragon that fish legs might have. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll definitely be back here in the future, but we still need to find Dragon's Edge. I would hate for the baby dragons to go without their dragon nip. What is this place? This is called the Itchy Armpit. <laughs> what the heck? I have no idea why it's called that, ladies and gentlemen. It looks so weird. It has so many orange trees. I do not want to land at a place called the Itchy Armpit, so we will be working our way towards this giant icicle thing. It looks like the thing in the top right hand of the map, but it's a little bit smaller. This is Eretz Fort. Oh, no, 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 no. I do not want to come to Eretz Fort. That does not seem like a place that I want to be. The music just completely changed up. Are there bad guys here? There might be. Yeah, look, 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 look. There's cannons. There's cannons here. Trapper's Fortress. No, 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 no. I got to get out of here. I did not sign up to fight a trapper today. The last time I tried to do that, it was the hardest battle of my entire life. But we did, however, get Luna, the Light Fury. So I'm guessing if I do defeat that in a future episode, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get something pretty impressive. This has to be it, though. This is like the last place that I haven't been to yet. This is it, Dragon's Edge. Of course, it's 
the last place. You've discovered all the regions. Return to Hiccup to complete the mission. Sweet, ladies and gentlemen, I guess I completed the map. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's not why we came here. We came here to find the dragon nip. All right, let's fly around. If I had to guess, there's probably some dragon nip around the area. There's also some dragons too. And look at all these sheep, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah. Oh, whoa. Okay, we have some dragons around. Hello, lady. Oh yeah, lady, do you have dragon nip? Oh, hi. I don't get many visitors here at Dragon's Edge. I'm Heather. Just figured I'd settle down around here for some time. You're friends with Hiccup, right? Well, you better be taking good care of your dragons. If your dragon is weak, feed them their favorite food and it'll help them heal. Also, all dragons love dragon nip. There's some growing around here. It's a long grass with white flowers. Perfect. Thank you, Heather. Now, do you have anything that I could maybe uh, steal? Maybe cookies? Nope. She has absolutely nothing. I was hoping maybe she had some dragon nip or cookies lying around. Okay, let's see. Is this the dragon nip? Okay, let's try to collect it. Um, Yeah, okay. It's dragon nip. It looks like I can collect it by right-clicking on it. There we go. You have found dragon nip. Return to Volca to complete the mission. I don't know exactly how much I want, but let's try to feed some to Malachite. Do you like it? Oh, Oh, he got super happy. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna need a lot of this stuff. I guess dragon nip is like cookies, but for dragons. Yoink. Bop. Spelunk. Da bop. Doodle. Ding. Dong. Ditch. A cookie. Eat it before she has to looky. I'm like Dr. Seuss. We also have a hideous Zippleback right in front of me, ladies and gentlemen. This is one of the most unique looking dragons. It has two heads and two massive tails. If I don't get anything good from this dragon nip, I might head back here and try to tame one. We can also go talk to Hiccup because we completed every single location on the map. So we might actually be able to get his token as well. And we're back. What's up, Valka? Thank you so much. Baby dragons are such rascals, and I can't wait to have more of them. Oh, you didn't know that dragon nip makes dragons lovesick? Give it a try. Wait, what? Okay, I got the Valka token, but wait, can we can we breed the dragons? Use dragon nip to breed dragons. Take the token to the great hall and place it on the display. Oh my gosh, I had no idea you could actually make baby dragons. So I'm guessing that they need to be the same species. So if I had another deadly natter, we could breed it together with Malachite and get a baby deadly natter. We're doing that a million thousand times in the future, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I wonder if I can maybe breed a Night Fury and a Light Fury together. That means we have a lot more dragons to tame. But in the meantime, let's go find Valka token, place that there. And while we're up here, we might as well go find Hiccup. Well, hello there, Hiccup. These drawings are incredible. Take this Hiccup token uh, and place it on the display behind me. Sweet, we did it. We mastered the map. All right, cool. We've explored the entire Archipelago. Place the token on the display. And it looks like the map has officially updated. So now we have all the locations. In a future episode, we're going to have to head back to Eret's hold over here. And we're going to have to see what the trappers have. I haven't really explored a lot of the other locations. Like the volcano, I kind of just went right past. This I went past and this I went past. So we're going to have to head back to them in the future. Malachite, come on. We have a dragon to tame now. We might be able to find a hideous Zippleback somewhere over in the jungles right behind the giant city. I'm not entirely sure, but let's go head down and see. Oh, I knew it, ladies and gentlemen. I thought I saw some here. Okay, I have no idea what they eat, but we're going to find out. If I had to guess, it would be fish. Okay, we're going to use our sneaky, sneaky methods and look at it, look at it, look at it, look at its face. Okay, we're going to try to tame it in three, two, one. Yes, 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 yes. It's working. Yes, okay, okay. I get on its back. Don't throw me off. Come on, come on, come on, you bitty, you big old hideous nipple back. There we go. Come on, come on. Just a little bit more. A little bit more. We got it. We got it. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We actually did it. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to try out the attack. What does it do? Ooh, what? Yo! Yo! That is amazing! So one of them shoots out the gas and the other one lights it on fire. That is so effective. This has to be one of the stronger dragons. Now let's see how it flies. Okay. All right. It is so massive. It looks so cool though. Its entire wings and skin is kind of just like camouflaged. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and take it back to fish legs so that we can add another dragon to our collection. Let's go ahead and dive all the way down. There we go. What's up, fish legs? Two heads are better than one. That's what they say. Two deadly, deadly heads. Yes, yes they are. Do not look at them funny or else they will eat you. That means there's only three more dragons left to tame in the world of how to train your dragons. Also, ladies and gentlemen, since we got a brand new dragon, the hideous Zippleback, I need name suggestions in the comments. And while you're down there, smash a like if you haven't already. I hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Beckbro Zippleback Tamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, dudes.